Hello and welcome to the Cameron Sedeghi Show Special Edition. Yes, I know you're wondering, well, what are you going to talk about today? There's not that really much to talk about on a Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, at, well, 8.15 now. But I do have a lot to talk about. Something, a burning issue, yes, on a Sunday morning that I thought of. It's the state of college sports. We're going to have a show today where we're going to have guest John Lansgrainer on. Uh, we recorded this interview with him where we talk about uh, NCAA recruiting and the way the system has worked so far and how the system is flawed. I'm going to talk about my thoughts on this whole system and what they're doing with underage recruiting and how they've carried themselves over these years and their... Uh, their committee and we'll get your comments and questions and this is not about a particular team it's about a business uh, an enterprise that has cheated its way to getting very and extremely rich um, the money flow is absolutely extraordinary but not done in the cleanest way, and I'll explain why, and I'll explain everything here on the Cameron Sadeghi Show. You can comment on the comment board. There's a comment bubble uh, near the right side, I believe. You can click on, and uh, I'll hear your comment. You come on and uh, tell me what you think about this whole issue. We'll get it down, we'll get it going, and then uh, you can talk to me through there, or you can call or text 949-456-2911, call that, text that, and uh, be perfect. So, let's get going. Something that has really agitated me over the course of of this whole process the money handshake some of you have heard of it some of you might think it's fake but if I told you it was true I'll give you one instance that you'll never forget Stanley McClover Auburn Auburn football player former Auburn football player in 2003 and there have been other cases too Stanley McClover of Auburn was at a Louisiana State football all-star camp as he was done with practice Auburn scouts and other scouts came to watch and one scout came to him from LSU and said and shaked his hand and in his hand when he shook his hand there were five dollar five hundred dollar in that man's hand the scouts hand given right to the kid so let me let me put this into perspective let's say I am the scout five hundred bucks I have five hundred bucks I'm gonna give it to this kid and Stanley McClover's the other guy. I got my 500 bucks in his hand. In his palm. Right in his hand. In his hand. Puts it right in his hand. Shakes him like a normal handshake. Sticks the money on the other guy's hand. That's what a money handshake is. Stanley, Stanley McClover told that to HBO Real Sports with Brian Gumble. I'm not kidding here. I am not, you know, saying any, making any false accusations. This is true. An LSU scout did this. So, that's just one instance of bad behavior. Not just bad, egregious behavior uh, from these scouts. You're, you're going to tell me that it's alright to give money to players before they even come? A handshake? A money handshake? You're that dirty of, a, of an institution to do so? You're that 
dirty. How dare you? How dare you do that? It's disgusting on the act of all these scouts. I I have a problem with this too because well I'm obviously I've had a problem with this money handshake for a long time but when I found this out on HBO and Stanley McClover said you know when you're from I I believe uh to me I I look at this on HBO he he said that, uh, you know, when you're from a small town place, when you're from a really small area where not a lot of people are interested in you, and you see that 500 bucks, you just take it. I kind of paraphrase what he said, but that's basically what he said there. You know what? If I'm him, and I'm in a poor community, and I'm struggling to get by, I don't get the same exposure like I like if I was a football player in Texas Chicago you know Florida yeah I'll take that money too and some of you might say oh that's a you gotta you gotta have some integrity now don't don't take the money but realize the circumstances that that kid is going through tough times and he's got to survive so these scouts know all right this kid's from a poor neighborhood this kid's in a bad situation so f the more money we give him you know i bet you know LSU's thinking hey you know what the more money i give him he's going to come to our school because he doesn't have enough money true he's going to say he's going to say you know what these guys are treating me like a pro. These guys are treating me like I'm in the NFL. Right? I mean, you you and many others, you know, those of you who are in the college world might understand this, but scouts are going... Scouts, I, I think at the end of the day, when it comes into regards to college football and college sports in general, I think they're more important than head coaches. Because, look at all the... T okay, SEC, why do they win? Blue chip talent, right? They always get the blue chip guys. Top premier players. Do you really... Honestly, do you think... I, I know Nick Saban's a good college coach and some... I get that, but... Come on. In the NCAA, it's all about talent. Right? You can have a good, great coach, but talent at the end of the day gets for you. If you want to win the national championship. So, these these scouts know we'll do anything at all costs. We'll cross the, the integrity line by any means. And they do it at will. At will they do it. It's not like they do it, ah, you know, sometimes. No, they do it every time. Which makes it even worse. Which makes it even more flawed. And and this this whole NCAA, I I don't. I, this committee is so awful. That their rule book is so awful. They have so many limitations. They have so they, all these different things. All these complicated rules. All these flawed. Just everything is flawed basically when it comes to the NCAA. I mean, there are, I did not compare this, so don't take my word for it. I mean, don't, don't say, hey, Cameron Sadeghi said this, because I did not say this, but I am quoting someone, a writer that not a lot of people like, infamous writer. His name's Jason Whitlock, FoxSports.com. He said... On HBO's Real Sports with Bryant Gumbel, they had a video called Overtime, and uh, it was about 13 minutes long, I think. He said, I, he said, I saw, he said that someone in a book referred the NCAA system 
as a plantation in slavery. I did not say that he said that. That's how that that I'm not gonna I'm not that extreme. I'm not gonna say, oh, this is slavery, guys. These this is slavery. I'm not Jason Whitlock, but I I know that even if a sports writer who's I, I know he's infamous and he'll just say whatever he wants, but if he has the guts to say that, that just tells you how bad the system is. If you ha if an, a media member has th the guts to go out there and call the NCAA pl a plantation slavery, that's crazy. Th that means there's something going on. But I don't believe it's slavery. I don't believe it's a plantation. That's what some others do, but I don't. The media hates the system. The only media who doesn't is, uh, you know, ESPN, because they have tons of SEC contracts where they broadcast the SEC and they congratulate... I mean, they talk about the SEC all the time. So, uh, and they talk about they have all these different college football programs and contracts with these teams and these organizations that support college football. So, no, that, that's the only like I, I could go NBC. I mean, NBC adores Notre Dame. No one loves Notre Dame more than NBC. Some networks have a bias. The, the, and the, I'll get to that issue too. Something that's really burning. It was burning, I think, a few years back. But it, to me, it, it still it, it still annoys me to this day. I'll get to that. But everything is solid. It, to me, we have to have. And I, and I love. I don't like Billy Packer as an analyst. Who he's retired now. He used to be a coach. I don't like him as an analyst. But I'll give credit where credit is due. He said that the NCAA should have a forum, like a public forum, where the commissioner, the whole committee is there, and the media just fires away and asks questions. Billy Packer asked that to one committee member. You know what the committee member said? Didn't say anything. Avoided it. Why? If the NCAA believes that they don't cheat and they don't do anything wrong, why don't they clean up their image so we don't ever have to talk about this anymore? Now, if they still cheat, I will talk about this. If they still have a bad system, I will continue to discuss, as well as many media members. But let's have a forum. Let's talk about it. Billy Packer, thank you. Hey, come on, committee. Let's hey, let's be really. I, I want the media to fire away. I want I, I want there to be a mediated discussion. I want to know what is the recruiting process like. Is it okay to give money to to uh, to recruits? Give them money handshakes. Is that okay? Is it okay to ask to recruit 13-year-olds, which we'll discuss about in a minute, and ask for their verbal commitments? Commit, uh, commitment? No, it shouldn't be. I don't know. Is it an unwritten rule? Is it a rule that I don't know? Am I the only one in the world who doesn't know that? Explain, explain, please. The NCAA is hurting themselves. No one, people used to, here, let me, let me tell you how big the NCAA was, football-wise. Football-wise. The NFL, today, is the number one American sport. Back then, in the beginning and the birth of the NFL, and even a little bit later into the NFL, College football was more popular, statistically and ratings-wise. So, 
That's how popular NCAA was. That's how.